Good morning, friends. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you all are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. It is Saturday here, and I have something very exciting going on today. So, figured I would take you guys along for the ride. This is something that I've been wanting for six years now, and it's finally happening today. I'm not usually one to wait, but you're going to know what I mean when I say I really just wanted to think it over and know exactly what I wanted because it's kind of a big deal. So today we're going to be doing just a day in the life. I wanted to do a full day of eating the other day, but just being in prep and you know, I just always eat the same stuff year round basically. Cause like I enjoy it, but it's not very fun for video. So instead of doing a full day of eating during the week, I'm going to be doing it today because today I have a treat meal and I am so, so excited. So. Um, meal number one already went down. It's 12, no, it's 11.15 right now. I have an appointment at, no, it's 11. I have an appointment at 11.15. So you guys are gonna go and watch the workout video that I filmed for you guys on Thursday. It's going to be a lower body conditioning workout. And when you finish watching that, I will see you for meal one. And then at this very exciting appointment I'm going to. So catch you there. Oh. Really quickly, I am going to be taking a protein bar for the road. So that's the second thing I'm eating today. Let's go. Seriously, so bomb. Look at that. What is going on you guys? Welcome to today's workout commentary. Today we are going to be doing a lower body conditioning workout. So this workout is going to be some weight training movements, super set with some high intensity body weight movements. This is going to sculpt the lower half and also work as a HIIT workout because your heart rate is going to spike up and then come back down. So you're gonna be doing three to four sets of this giant circuit. There are five exercises in this circuit. You're going to repeat them one after the other with little to no rest until you finish all five. All right, so let's get right into it. Exercise number one is going to be dumbbell sumo squats into press. I personally like to have the dumbbells in between my legs and do a slight bicep curl to Arnold press to shoulder press. This is my way of making it a full body movement instead of just holding the dumbbells by my shoulders and pressing up as I squat. Then we are going to get straight into single leg jump squats. Now, these are not easy. This is me trying to look graceful, so forgive me. <laughs> but this exercise is hard, so just do your best. I want you to come down, touch the ground as you bend at the knees, and then as you jump up, extend your arms overhead. Make sure that your core is engaged to help with stability during this exercise. Moving on, we're going to get straight into some dumbbell curtsy lunges. My little tip when doing dumbbell curtsy lunges is putting the dumbbells at your shoulders like so. This helps to not strain the neck with holding the dumbbells by your side. It's just a lot more comfortable, especially as you get heavier. I am using one set of dumbbells for this entire workout, so I'm only using the 15 pounds, but I personally just really love holding the dumbbells on my shoulders like this if you don't have access to a barbell. So do 20 curtsy lunges, and then we're going to jump right into some jump squats with pulse. So you're gonna do the full range of motion jump squat with the half rep, which is going to be our pulse. The last exercise in our circuit is going to be some dumbbell alternating reverse lunges. So tip here, if you wanna feel this exercise more in your glutes and your hamstrings, make sure that you take a wide step back and if you wanna feel it more in your quads, make it more of a short slash narrow step. All right guys, so that is going to be it for this workout. This is set number one. I recommend doing three to four sets. Make sure that you challenge yourself, whatever that looks like for you. The entire workout is going to be written down below in the description box for you to screenshot and try on your own. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. That looks so cute. So this is the tattoo I've wanted for six years. It's my dad's full name, Dale Elwin Boyce. He passed away December um, 16th, 2013. And then I also got the feminist symbol. 
on my middle finger because how fitting. Girl power. <laughs> Guys, we are home and we have two new tattoos. The other one's on the other arm. Super cold, so I put on more clothes because it started snowing in Calgary, but the blue skies are coming out. Guys, I'm so excited. I really love my tattoos. Back on topic with that. As I said, I've been wanting a tattoo for my dad since like since he passed away I just didn't know what exactly and I'm not really like a picture kind of tattoo person and then I was just like really just want something small and dainty and I've always loved this placement on my arm my friend started doing dainty tattoos I knew she was the person to do something super small and feminine and just beautiful and also for one day when I get married and I have like my ring finger on like my ring on this finger and I don't know, I just think it's really special because like, it's like he's always with me and he couldn't like walk me down the aisle one day, but he's on that arm, you know, like super sentimental. So really happy with that, got that, and now we're here. Let's do our next meal. All I've had today is my breakfast and a protein bar, which was so delish, um, but that's okay because the one-up bars are a little bit higher in uh, macros. They're 240 calories. Um, 30 grams of carbs 25 grams of protein and I think 11 grams of fat so it's almost like a meal replacement bar so that kept me going for a couple hours because I did some errands so now that we are home right now and my fish is done cooking I picked up a new dressing let me show you guys let me show you guys let's make meal three prep some fish so we have some tilapia with my new seasoning it's called Limitless by Dominate Spices. This is my coach's seasoning brand. He actually just launched it, and they're awesome because there's no sugar and they are salt-free. Just look at the ingredients. Like, they're actually dehydrated herbs and stuff. So I'm using the Limitless as well as the Bold and Beautiful on my fish today. Super delish. If you guys are in Calgary, you can contact him for local pickup. But... That's tilapia, we have air fried green beans, and we have some rice, and then I picked up this dressing. They had a bunch of different ones, and I picked the garlic mustard. I like love mustard dressings. There's also a jalapeno mustard, which I'm probably gonna go back and get because I tried a little of this already, and it's super good. And look, there's zero calories, and they're all natural ingredients, so Really excited about that blush lane. They were on sale today. I'm gonna put that over top of my fish and a little bit on the rice, like so. Girls night, so we are having pokey. We just picked it up from Pacific Pokey. That's one of my favorite spots here in Calgary. Not one of them, but my number one. So I have half sushi rice, half kale, um, sockeye salmon, two ahi tuna, red beets, pickled ginger, pesto pineapple, seaweed salad, and pickled onions. Look at all this and our wine. Hi guys! Hey! <laughs> oh my god, you're annoying. <laughs> so that is going to be meal four. Just made this beautiful little snack plate to share. Raspberries, cashews, almonds, dried apricots, walnuts, and chocolate. Last meal of the night. Thank you, Stella. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, you guys. Homemade kimchi rice with a fried sunny side up egg. She made this today. Kimchi rice. It's our favorite thing. So that is going to finish this full day of eating. Almost forgot to record my halo top. Then I just have this date almond butter nut square on the top. <laughs> 